Welcome back to Let's Play Ghost of a Tale. I'm Burning Dog Face, and last time I knocked down this beehive with one of these bottles. Let's see. Oh, a new type of food. It's honey! Some honey. The honey's sweetness reminds you of Hamel, the last place you called home. Now I'm sad. Young queen. A subdued bee queen. A young bee queen. Ready to lead her own colony. I mean, she was doing just fine until we wrecked it. I'm just saying. Oh. I know there's more hives out here. That's the tower. I want to check something, actually, while I'm right here. I want to see what happens if I, uh... throw a pine cone at the door. I hope coming here isn't what triggers that, uh... map bug. Oh, hey, another bottle. Oh, more bottles! Nope! Can I take the hourglass? No? Okay. Okay, I found it. Be very careful about this one. Uh... This one, I guess, since I guess that one wasn't working properly. Since I don't believe that's in the armory. Turn around, you... Huh. All that for nothing. Can't even... Okay, let's get out of here. I don't think I'd ever seen that before, actually, come to think of it. You know, uh, it would just be... I would throw it at, like, those things with the giant worms in them, and they'd blow up real good. Let's go find some more, uh, nests to... Well, not to blow up, but, uh... Oh, fuck this guy. Excuse me. Nope. I am not interested in what you are selling. I'll just loop around. What was that? I don't need those anymore. You know what? Good luck. Fucking Christ, he's on the level of geometry. Fine. Stop being an obstacle in my path, and go away. Sheesh. There. enough to see now. I wonder why all of them are over these.
Eat a dick. Mature queen. Oh, I'm down here. Why didn't it scroll down to follow the cursor? A subdued bee queen. A mature bee queen. Her colony must surely be searching for her. They seem kind of chill, actually. Maybe the bottle was full of smoke. That uh, wasn't a drug joke. Uh, beekeepers uh, use smoke to make all the bees sleepy when they need to handle the hive to reduce the chances of the bees getting annoyed and attacking them. I know they use a little can with a spigot on it that just emits smoke, and it's called a smoker. But I don't actually know how it works. Is there just something burning inside? Oh. The Larval Queen! That was easy. Larval Queen. A Larval Bee Queen. A Larval Bee Queen grown fat on royal jelly and ready to establish her own colony. Well, that's a lie. If it's a larva, it's ready, you know, at best, she's ready to metamorphose into a young Bee Queen. And then she'll be ready. That was totally unnecessary, but you know what? After all the trouble those things gave me, it made me feel pretty good. I have a, uh, let's call it a healthy respect for bees in the real world. I will stay far away from them, and they will stay far away from me. And so far that has worked out great for both parties involved. Actually, wait! Oh, right. Uh, if I go through that other passage I found, it will lead me straight to the apiaries. Nice. So I'll just go finish my business with Rezia, and then I'll turn her in like the narc I am. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> well, you know, she did try to poison me, so, uh, yeah. Vengeance, at least. That's what the black one on today. Fashion. Uh-huh. And you, and you, and you. Nice. Although now he reminds me of, uh, very specifically, of, uh... Oh, jeez. If you've seen, uh, Star Trek Picard, it reminds me of Picard's costume when he was pretending to be a smuggler. Yay! Is there anything else in the quest log? Uh, there it is. I'll just take a clean to each hive. From now on, the beehives will produce honey every 48 hours. And just think, the cook won't even get time to enjoy it. What am I doing? I'm not dressed as a soldier. Uh, yes. Trigger, not bumper. Hello, Uma. Oh, I haven't done this part yet. 
What happens if I do this? I, I woke up in the far tower. I have no idea how I got there. Just fragments. Not right now. Thank you, Uma. Oh. What? Oh, was that just the end of the quest right there? I didn't actually need her? I don't want anything to jeopardize that. There's a saying that, uh, Canadians know how to say I'm sorry and have it mean fuck you. I have a feeling she said that in the sweetest grandmotherliest way possible and still made it sound like a threat. I'll just take your empties out to the recycling bin for you. Do I have the book? If I saw that, I'm asking. Yeah, okay. Umarezia. I can't believe I didn't actually need that. It, it, you know, it does. You have to admit, it wouldn't make any sense if uh, the person who asked me to do it got arrested, and then I went and did it anyway. Still, under the, even under the circumstances, I find it odd you can't even mention the honey thing. That's I'm clear. Uh, yeah, it is done. Okay, good. In that case, I need to go say hello to the commander. Fred. I started to say a while ago that, uh, yeah, this game does have, uh, uh, oh. Oh, shit, I went exactly the wrong direction there. My bad. And a wrong turn. I was, I was lost in thought and realized, hang on, I'm outside. <laughs> yeah, it's over here. I'm starting to say, this game has its share of bugs, but again, considering it was mostly made by a single dude, that's... it's still pretty impressive. His tail has turned green! Well, it's still there, at least. Uh, hey, Commander. Sir, I've discovered the identity of each of the five smugglers. You present to the Commander... We present the Commander with the scarred obols, each bearing the name of one of the five smugglers. Oh. Oh. Oh, no! I suppose they did murder the fucking jailer for some reason. Oh man. It's just a bit rough when I know for a fact that these guys I have spoken with are going to be murdered. Like the guy who's guarding the door to the elevator, for example. Sir, in the ledger of the commander, he opens the book and leaves through its pages. Umarezia? It's hard to believe, but there it is, written in her own hand.
Um. Hey! Hmm. Thank you, sir. I'm just juggling these orders now. Well, I might as well get the trap thing, even though I'm not sure there are any traps left in the game. Like, obviously, I, as a writer, feel like it would be an enormous shame if nothing else is ever done with this setting, just because it's so lore-rich. But, uh, you know, even as a gamer, this might not be the most, like, technically impressive game. You know, the stealth is, as I've said, extremely simplistic. But at the same time, look what a dude managed to do! This game looks great! And the graphics are great, the, uh... The writing is great. I, uh, I would really like to see. What, like I said this before, but I would really like to see what this guy could do with a, you know, full team working on uh, a sequel to this. And it doesn't have to be like the continuing adventures of Tylo. You know, it could just be following any person in all of the world of Pangea. I guess it's called. I have the gold for the crown here. Hmm, the quality is not great, but it'll do. All right, your majesty, give me six hours and you'll have your crown. Right, I forgot about the time thing. Uh, aye! <laughs> I guess the spider traps? Sure. <laughs> Blacksmith teaches you the method for detecting traps. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna leave him working on the crown. I don't want him to like I don't want to like split his attention. I know that's uh, it's not it's probably not what you need to do from a video game perspective. But like I said, I'm the lore guy. And in the meantime, no, not the beard. Excuse me. Up I go. Oh. <laughs> I can't believe that worked, even in this outfit. Oh, there's the timer. I guess we'll have to do that next time. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you on the next episode of Let's Play Ghost of a Tale. When I, uh... What time is it, anyway? One. So at, uh, seven, I'll be able to go get my crown.
We're going to make these guys day again. And uh, hopefully this time, the map will continue cooperating. Later. <laughs>